third anniversary. <laughs> Josh, Spotlight is not the easiest project to make compelling on a movie screen. How do you do that as a screenwriter? Well, I think from the beginning we were always pitched the idea as this is the story of the journalists. And I think for us, um, that was immediately the right way in because it's such an accessible way to process this subject. You know, and what I would say is, yes, the subject matter can be tough at times, but you have an, enorm an enormously fun group of people who are tackling it, right? If you meet these reporters, you know, and I've now spent so many hours with them, and, and I love them all, they're just a great group of people to hang out with. And I think we've got such great actors that they, they bring that to the screen, you feel that. And so I think when you're on the ride, it's a fun ride. And one of the things that I think the reporters found a little odd as they were researching and reporting on this story is they had two feelings. One, they were tremendously sad about what they were uncovering, but on the other hand, they were exhilarating because it was the story of the century. And I think you feel the same thing in the movie. I think you can enjoy the ride, be exhilarated by the way they're uncovering it. And at the end of the day, as much as we are doing the tough stuff, stuff, stuff the story is inspiring. Ultimately, this story was broken, right? There was light shed on the issue, and that led to light being shed on the issue around the world. And so, for us, I think, you know, continuing to, you know, while paying respect to the survivors, while making sure their voices are heard, seeing this through the eyes of the reporters, I think, was the key. And have each of the actors, did each of the actors meet with their counterparts? Oh yeah. From the very beginning, Tom's watchword was off the list. You know, you know, his vision was very strong from the very beginning. Let's make this as real and accurate as possible. And even all the good humor that comes from, you know, real and accurate reporting on our reporters. And what's wonderful is once the actors signed on board, two of one, they, they, they held true to this mantra. You know, Ruffalo went, suddenly he was spending a week up with Mike Rosendez in Boston. We didn't even know about it. Keaton, you know, I think he had Robbie fly out to Montana, or maybe he flew in. Like, they spent a ton of time together. Rachel spent a ton of time. There was a big joke because Sasha likes to walk. And Rachel apparently went to visit her in Boston and had calluses on her feet because she spent the entire day walking around with Sasha. You know, it's stuff to keep up with. Um, but all of the reporters spent time. And also, you know, for example, Neil Huff, who plays Phil Saviano, one of the survivors and one of the leaders uh, of SNAP, uh, you know, at the time of the SNAP chapter there that was a survivor's uh, victim's advocacy. Neil went and spent a ton of time with Phil, right? Neil got notes from Phil on the script. Phil came to set. All the reporters came to set. We were getting notes from them, you know, on the day, uh, you know, tweaking here and there. And so I think that was very helpful in terms of the accuracy of the, of the, of the movie. Well, it's a great movie. If you do look at our charts, you'll see that you're going to be wearing a lot of formal clothes and going to a lot of shows over the next three months. Your lips to God's ears, <laughs> as my mother would say. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.